Hi everyone, I'm outside today. It is hot in Northwest Illinois. I want to make just a quick follow-up video, wall hangings or art. Um, please subscribe and like this video and I'll continue to show you more of my thrifting treasures. Let's get started. So this first piece that I found was a beautiful watercolor. It's pansies and it's definitely original, not a print or a lithograph. Um, and you can kind of tell when you get closer that you see some of the brushwork detail. I know with watercolor, it's a little hard to tell, but um, you see where the colors are kind of bleeding a bit. That's when you know that the water, the colors are actually being applied in, in the waters, you know, doing its natural thing. So I was elated to find this and it is signed. So you want to look, make sure that there is a signature. I don't know who the artist is. Um, it's B. Cosner or Kerner. Um, so I have to do a little bit of research to see if it's someone famous. But here's the best part. You can find original framed work for $3.99. So definitely encourage you to look at uh, the art or framed section. And it is framed ready to go. However, you know, this color may not be someone's style or taste right now. So um, you can offer to um, take it out of the frame and ship it. It'll be a lot easier to ship it that way too if you just send um, the artwork. So this one is a ceramic Asian art piece and it's to either hang on your wall. Um, you wouldn't necessarily use this as tile or like a trivet or something like that. Detail in here. So you've got, you know, the bamboo and then there's a layer on top, of course it says prosperity. I presume that's what the Asian writing states there as well. And then this uh, coin with um, the square hole in the middle, usually a, a lucky type of coin. It's a nice solid ceramic piece. As mentioned, I love ceramics. Um, if I could have been a potter, which I have no talent for that, um, maybe in another life. But yeah, great find and $1.99 and it's ready to hang. So this one, holy cow, I can't believe I found this in its original box. Uh, it is a commemorative, commemorative plate from the Indiana Glass Company based in Dunkirk, Indiana. I'm going to do a whole episode on depression glass, um, but... Um, this is a great example of that and definitely identifiable since it's in its original box. But you see it's a piece of glass, it's a plate that is for decorative purposes, but it says the spirit of 76. And I presume this was created in 1976 to um, commemorate the American Bicentennial. So this was just hanging in the shelf waiting for me to pick it up definitely a vintage piece and you see in the the uh, back here the design and the item number and also a great little price so this will go on to eBay as well but yeah definitely different types of wall art that you can find so how adorable is this one it's a tiger cub Look at the eyes, cute little orange eyes. And there's a little ladybug. We love ladybugs. And there is a signature, E-S-H. Once again, I always look to see if something's signed and it looks definitely original, but it doesn't look like painting or, you know, some type of pen and ink. So. Um, you always turn to the back for the clues. 
The frame looks very original too back in that period. And I got lucky here. There was a certificate of authenticity. Let me turn it around. But also the artist signed it, Robert A. Ash, October 83. And there's only 800 of these. This is number 416. And now we know what this thing is. It's a, sorry, I can't see in the light here. It's a serigraph with a certificate of authenticity. Paid $4.99 for it. Let's see what the comps are on eBay and we'll get it listed. Very cute. Anything with animals I love and other people love as well. Not to mention, I think tigers are, are really in right now, so hopefully this one goes fast. Thanks! And here we have an example of a ceramic while hanging as well, but it's very three-dimensional. I love the citrus. That was my wedding theme, anything citrus. And... Usually citrus, I think of Mediterranean, of course, south, and this always, uh, you know, it's a good indicator of the subject matter where the region, um, where this um, may have been made. And of course, once again, you will turn it over. Let me flip it so you can see it. And yeah, made in Italy by Carraro. Um, I suppose I need to look that up, but here, made in Italy, and the price was very nice, $4.99, looks to be handmade and hand-painted, and the detail with the blossoms will add to any kitchen, especially anyone who loves Mediterranean and Italian food. Great decorative piece. Did I mention it was hot out here? Um, I am standing in the sun, but I wanted to put these objects in the light so you guys can see them. But I found this little beauty, and then the second day I went back, I found its twin. Well, not exactly, but it definitely um, by the same artist, same size, same framing. So they were they were set, or somebody who collected um, them. But it's always good to buy two. If you see two of anything, grab it because uh, people love pears. Um, so it's sunflowers, very vibrant. And you could see the brushwork. So it's an original piece, kind of a little abstract here. I love how the colors just bleed. So I had to move inside because it simply got too hot out there. Not only I was uh, sweating, but my phone uh, had a malfunction error because it was saying that it was too hot and wait till phone cools down to use the video so very interesting um, but back to this piece um, it is signed by an artist called Deliglio and once again I do need to do some research on that but frame looks original and um, you know, you want to go for things that have vibrant colors because that will attract uh, your buyers too. You know, yellow is always a classic color. People can fit it in their decor, etc. And the subject matter, flowers, birds, landscapes, um, all things that are very desirable. So when you flip it over, $3.99, great price. But it is ready to hang, so that's nice and it's pretty lightweight. But I wanted to show you if you um, look at the canvas, see it can focus here. Do you see how that canvas is um, nailed instead of stapled? So that's an indicator of age. The stapled canvases that we can purchase now um, usually uh, indicate, of course, it's more modern. So this canvas uh, was nailed. I'm guessing this is either from the 70s or the 60s. I do not know. But, um, you know, you want to look at kind of the condition, too. And this looks like linen that it's lined uh, or 
or bordered or matted with. Um, so yeah, very cute, beautiful, unique gift item. Um, and of course there's a pair. So this one I think is going to uh, go really quickly. Um, I'll have all these items listed on eBay, um, hopefully as soon as possible. But I just wanted to show you some of the artwork that I've been finding as well. And finally, last but not least, I know this is not a wall hanging or traditional art, but I just had to show this because I couldn't believe that I found this. Um, someone actually donated these. Um, if you don't know what they are, they're Russian nesting dolls. And they're so adorable. They, you know, all the pieces were there. I did open it up at the store. Um, you can do that if you don't mind. To make sure that they all fit and they were able to be opened. But colors are vibrant. The roses, beautiful, cute faces. And when I was a poor college student traipsing through Hungary and uh, Czech Republic, um, these were on the streets. They were um, everywhere. Some of them were more expensive than others. And I always wanted a set, but, you know, I had to conserve my money at the time for eating and train fare. So couldn't buy a lot. But I don't know, I will list these, but I'm really debating whether I should just keep them for myself uh, because I do not have a set, but they're super cute and they appear to be vintage or antique. Um, and, you know, I did try to see if there was a mark um, and lo and behold, it is signed. Um, that looks like Russian. I do not know. Um, I'll have to consult with some friends who are able to read. Um, I believe that's Cyrillic. And two ninety nine for this beautiful hand painted Russian nesting doll set. Uh, colors are great. I think um, very modern. Um, you know that rose color is pretty in right now. So yeah, you just want to look at the quality, you know, the condition is always going to be important. And also, you know, if, if someone wants to be able to pick it up, they, they want it to kind of match their decor these days. But yeah, so short and sweet video for today. Um, hope you enjoy it. It's so hot that I'm glad I'm back indoors. But thank you. And the next one, I'd like to take you thrifting with me. So we'll see if I can film inside one of these thrift stores and come along for the ride. Thank you and see you next time.